Well, hello everybody, and next to me here are Cooler Master's claimed ultimate fans for radiators, for case airflow, and for air coolers. This is the Mobius series. Now, the reason why I wanted to cover these is because it turns out after our Computex coverage, a lot of people weren't really aware of these being these ultimate high-end fans. But are they actually as good as Cooler Master claims they are? Are these sort of like a secret weapon that a lot of people tend to overlook when cross-shopping high-end fans for their builds? Now, another reason why I wanted to really look at these right now is that their prices have hit an absolute rock bottom. Even this guy, the brand new Mobius OC that was just, just released is going for, guess what? 15 bucks after a $10 rebate in some regions, not every single region, but at the same time, that really warrants a close look. So are these actually worth your time and worth your effort and most of all, worth your money? Now, that's what I wanted to find out, but first, a message from this video sponsor. Be ready to be captivated by a fusion of vivid colors, deeper blacks, and a wicked fast 240 hertz refresh rate with Corsair's Xenion Flex gaming monitor. Featuring the world's first bendable OLED display in a stunning 45 inch WQHD ultra wide aspect ratio, immerse yourself in gaming and other productive tasks. You get all the extra goodies for ultimate speed and precision within a game, get quick access to a few USB ports at the front and plenty of other display connectivity options at the back. And all of this tech is backed with their advanced burn-in protection and a three year warranty. If you're looking to flex your gaming setup, look no further than Corsair Xenion Flex. Learn more down below. So let's explain what we've got here because let's be honest, the Mobius family, every single one of these fans basically looks identical, but there are some vast differences between the models that you need to know about before assuming one is just as good as the other. So let's start with the standard Mobius and the Mobius 120p ARGB version. The blinged out one actually runs a good 20% faster while also delivering significantly more static pressure and airflow. Of course, it also makes more noise when running at full speed, but that's only due to its higher rotational speeds. At identical RPM, both fans should perform almost identically, though Cooler Master claims the standard model will have a slightly better noise to performance ratio due to its different materials and construction. I actually tested this version right here in our 120 millimeter RGB fan roundup that you can sort of find right up here. And in that, it was one of the absolute best RGB fans. So obviously these things have some chops to back up Cooler Master's marketing claims. I should also note there's a 140 millimeter version of the 120p called the 140p ARGB that should deliver what a lot of people have been asking for, a 140 millimeter high performance case fan that also has tons of RGB. I won't be testing it here since our 140 millimeter fan testing methodology is still being set up, but it's coming in a couple of months. The lighting on these things, well, it isn't all that great to be honest, and they look a bit dated compared to some of the other crazy looking blinged out fans that are popping up. But the focus here is on raw performance with RGB basically being thrown in as a me too feature. There's also a few common engineering features that are across the entire lineup with the most obviously being the linked blade design. It's actually something we've been seeing more and more of lately since it allows for increased airflow and decreased vibrations by offering more fin stability and quieter operation. All of these fans also include a specialized loop dynamic bearing that allows for constant lubrification of its internal components. And there's also an angled inner frame rim with interspersed vents that are meant to accelerate airflow and improve static pressure. Then of course, there's the fan that I was alluding to in the introduction, and that is this guy, the Mobius. OC. So what you're going to see with this fan is that it includes a lot of the features from the other Mobius series, but everything gets sort of like turned up to 11 because this one, this is meant to be Cooler Masters, Noctua, Be Quiet, Arctic P12 killer. And when compared to the rest of the Mobius series, it's on a whole other level, mostly due to that 3200 RPM red line, hence the OC name. There's a significantly higher price too, mostly due to how it's designed and all of the higher end materials that are being used. But it's also been on sale every now and then too, so that $35 asking price gets knocked down pretty quickly. In some cases, like I said before, to only 
15 bucks, which is less than the original Mobius. And trust me, that makes it a screaming good deal. Anyways, the OC model removes the reflow bearing and in its place is a double ball bearing design with a full metal casing for improved longevity. And while the OC still has that signature ring blade design, its blade count has gone from seven on the standard Mobius to nine here. There's also fully rubberized corners to eliminate vibration and an inline controller to cap the maximum RPM in case your motherboard goes crazy with an overly aggressive fan curve, which most do. Anyways, with all of that technology behind it, Cooler Master is able to give the Mobius OC something that's very, very rare in the fan industry, and that is a lifetime warranty. Now, I'm saying lifetime warranty in quotations because whether or not you get great support is the biggest question of all, or if you're able to RMA this thing, if something goes wrong in 10, 15, 20 years. Again, it's a big question, but Cooler Master, they are giving it a lifetime warranty stamp, so there is something to say about that. Okay, so with all of that out of the way, let's talk about performance, starting with how each of these fans lines up with output versus decibels, so it'll be easier to follow along and potentially replicate our results. Feel free to pause here if you need to take a second to take it all in. And speaking of results, let's get to those right away. Let's start with raw CFM and add a bunch of fans we've already tested in both the RGB and non-RGB categories. Overlay the Mobius 120p ARGB and it's one of the best RGB fans around right now and pretty much matches the Gentle Typhoon here. Meanwhile, the standard model is a bit better at every decibel point, but only by a slim amount. It also tops out at just 40 decibels, which also makes it one of the quietest fans we've ever come across. The Mobius OC though, that is head and shoulders above the other two models, but this fan is also all about its two sweet spots. At lower decibel levels, the OC is an absolute champ, beating out the Fantex T30. Then between 42 and 48 decibels, it sort of levels off competing with, but not beating, the Silent Wings Pro 4, P12 Max, and T30. Then it surges again at higher noise levels where it ends up matching the T30 again. You can really get a feeling of this competitive landscape right here. The original Mobius delivers good airflow numbers relative to its speed of just 2000 RPM, while the ARGB model's additional 400 RPM turns things up a notch, at least when running at 100% fan speed. What Cooler Master needed was obviously a faster Mobius, and that's exactly where the OC model comes in. But the Mobius's real strengths are focused towards optimizing noise versus output, and that's where every model shines with the OC just dominating at a constant 39 decibels. The standard Mobius is also so strong here by jumping pretty far up the chart and coming out ahead of the ARGB model despite running at identical speeds. And what happens when we stick a standard 27 millimeter thick radiator in front of all these fans. Well, naturally performance drops like a stone for every single one here, but the Mobius ARGB is still able to stay ahead of some other top performers. The regular Mobius actually puts down even better numbers here than the ARGB. It really feels like Cooler Master was aiming to deliver performance that at least matched a gentle typhoon, though at a lower noise envelope. Yet the OC model takes that formula and just throws it right out the window though it does tend to struggle a bit more here than in our raw CFM testing. Its curve is so similar to the unrestricted results, making it the best fan we've ever benchmarked at lower noise levels and awesome above 48 decibels, but sort of flat between those two points. So if you hit this thing's sweet spot, it's an absolute banger, but otherwise it's simply a good fan across the entire noise range. And look, at full fan speed, there's just no way to beat the T30 or even the Noctua PPC when using a radiator. And yet the OC does come ultra close to those two, while the normal Mobius's focus on silence above all else means it delivers good performance, but it's fighting an uphill battle against noisier fans like the 120p ARGB but get everyone here to play fair at the 39 decibel level and the standings start to look very, very different with the Mobius 120 leapfrogging the 120p ARGB and becoming arguably a superior overall fan. Meanwhile, the OC model does what it does the best, deliver class leading performance at low noise levels. This thing is an absolute 
beast if you care about acoustics. So those are the more technical results. But I know a lot of you guys care a lot more about how these fans perform in a real world scenario. So testing on an air cooler and an AIO radiator. So what we're gonna do here, as usual, is going to be testing on a Noctua U12S and a pretty basic H60 AIO. Let's start with CPU temperatures on that liquid cooler and the fans running at 100%. Right away, it's obvious each Mobius is super competitive in its respective category. The OC matches the Fantex T30, while the 120P model is in the top three ARGB fans, and the regular Mobius lines up perfectly with the legendary Gentle Typhoon. And then, when you overlay noise onto that, the Mobius family becomes even more impressive, since, relative to performance, they're actually quieter than many competing fans and to many people that'll be a huge selling point. And the Mobius really shines if you don't want to run your fans at full speed but aim for a quieter experience. The strengths we saw in our synthetic tests carry right over into real world radiator temperatures with the OC standard model and 120p ARGB being some of the absolute best fans at lower noise levels. The situation pretty much repeats itself with the U12S, except here the Mobius and 120P variant are a lot closer to one another temperature-wise, despite the ARGB version being a whole lot louder. And the OC, well, that pretty much stays in line with other high-end, high-speed fans. And the last test at a constant 36 decibels shows that Mobius's domination on a standard radiator also translates to amazing numbers on this heatsink. And look, the numbers might be very different on other coolers since each is designed differently. So think of this as a snapshot of how things shake out when these fans are used on this particular U12S. All right, so with all that out of the way, what is the lowdown on the Mobius series? So first of all, we have the Mobius OC, and I have to say this is one of, if not the best fan on the market right now relative to noise versus performance. I'd actually say it's like one of those hidden gems that not a lot of people are talking about, but it deserves its time to shine, especially if you can find it for a lower price than its original MSRP, because I'll be honest with you, at its original MSRP of between $35 to $40, it is a little bit expensive. But right now, even though it's a newer fan, we're seeing it go on sale for like some, some, some crazy, crazy prices. So if you can find it for like under 30 bucks, it is a bang for buck leader. On the other hand, we have the original Mobius, which is not exactly the newest fan around there, but I did want to talk about it here because when you talk about performance versus noise versus price, this is probably one of the leading fans. It is a lot more readily available than the Gentle Typhoon, and you get Gentle Typhoon performance from it. So good on Cooler Master for releasing this thing, but at the same time, just don't buy it for its full price of between 30 to $32. If you're finding it for a little bit less than that, Again, it's a very, very good value. On the other hand, the ARGB version, I'm not gonna say that is the absolute best ARGB fan out there, but price, again, versus performance, versus noise, this thing can run with some of the best RGB fans out there, if not outright dominate them at certain noise levels. On the flip side of that coin, you're not gonna be getting that crazy RGB bling that you're going to be getting from some of the Lian Lees and Fantex on the market. Luckily, this is a little bit less expensive, so if you want a high performance RGB fan that is your basic RGB bling, well, this is probably one of the leading contenders. So anyways, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video about this whole Mobius family, and I am so happy I found this sort of like hidden gem, Mobius OC. If you love this content, let me know. If you want to see some other fans that I might not have covered, let me know in the comments below. I'm Mike with Harwood Canucks, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good day, guys.